Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. Welcome to my video. Uh, man, I am in, uh, I'm at the park right now. Uh, parked at the park. It's raining out. And my car won't start. Uh, I'm having issues starting my car. I'm having issues cranking up my car. Oh man, uh, so I pretty much, this car worked fine the whole entire day, haven't, didn't, you know, wasn't any kind of warning or anything like that with the car, uh, not, not starting, you know, I went to the park, uh, pretty much just walked around for two hours, uh, it was getting dark, I came back to my car, tried to start it, just to go home, and this situation happened where it's... Doing absolutely nothing as far as cranking up is concerned. And uh, this sucks a lot. But here's the thing about it. Um, originally, I thought it was the battery because I haven't changed the battery uh, in a long, long while. We're talking about like maybe uh, we're talking about like two, three years. <coughs> so anyway, um, I, I turn on my headlights just to see, you know how bright they were I don't think two hours if I left anything on I don't think I left the light I'm pretty sure I didn't leave my my lights on um anyway um I went out turn the, turn the headlights on and 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 try to see whether they were bright or not uh considering it's overcast out and uh it's kind of drizzling it's they're pretty bright those headlights were bright <clears throat> so I assume it wasn't the battery um, but I, I can't be 100% sure of that. I was, you know, with with my headlights that bright, I should be getting a little, uh, a slow crank or something, like a little slow crank or something like that. But I was, I was like, I don't, I didn't, it didn't hear anything except for, um, you know, a, a click. That's all I heard was a click. You know, I, I must have tried like, you know, uh, the whole entire time. I must, I must have tried like 15 times to, to try to turn it on. And all I heard was a click. Um, so, um, originally I was thinking, okay, um, I had uh, an Altima that had the same issue where it wouldn't start. <clears throat> and, and and a lot of, there were, there were some videos that said it was the brake switch. So, going back to that, I was like, maybe it was the brake switch that was the problem. So, I had somebody... <clears throat> um, you know, check my lights out, my brake lights from the from the back while I while I uh, put my foot on the brakes and the brake lights were bright. They they were working. At that point, I knew that it was not the brake lights. Uh, that it was not the brake switch that was the problem. All right, I could rule that out. <coughs> so I, I I ruled that out. All right. So as far as the battery is concerned, um, I, I I opened the hood up. And, and I, I was looking at the battery, seeing whether there was any kind of uh, corrosion on, on, on the battery. There wasn't a lot of corrosion on there. <clears throat> it was pretty clean. But uh, I, I, had, I, had, um, I had some uh, orange soda, uh, a can of orange soda I was going to drink up after the exercise, but uh, I still got it. Anyway, um, I went out and uh, I, I, I opened it up and I poured some of it on... Uh, on a two terminals, just, you know, just to see maybe, uh, I had some luck or something like that because maybe it was, uh, the inside of the, uh, terminals from, from the, uh, clamp from the cables that, that was corroded. <clears throat> anyway, that cleaned it up, uh, uh, pretty good. Um, I came back and tried to start it and nothing, nothing. I, I heard a, a click again. I heard a click, but nothing. There was no, um, you know, the, the engine wasn't turning, the, the start, you know, it, it wasn't starting up at all. There was nothing. Uh, the thing about it is, um, all my electricity works, work in the car. All right. I, I, I had the remote, I opened the doors with the remote, uh, heard the loud, uh, beep, beep, uh, beep. Um, and, uh, all the sounds were good. Radio turned on immediately, blow motor. <clears throat> um, and, uh, everything on the dash, everything is fine. Everything works fine. Power windows. Everything works fine, except except for one problem. I can't get my engine to crank. So at that point, 
I was like, <clears throat> maybe it's not the battery. Maybe it's not the battery. I'm not sure. A hundred percent. The the dude who helped me out uh, to uh, you know check out my brake lights. Um, I actually asked him to to help me out with 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 a jump, and uh, you know he had a, he had a truck, helped me out, jumped it. Uh, you know, twice. Jump first time around, it didn't work. Second time around, try to jump it, and um, 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 nothing. I actually had the cables on there for a couple of minutes, but nothing, nothing. All right. <coughs> so, um, <coughs> anyway, anyway, I can rule out the battery at that point. So at this, at this point, I'm ruling, I, I, I ruled out the uh, brake switch. I ruled out the battery because it was jumped and, and nothing happened. So it's not the battery. And I could also rule out the alternator. It's not the alternator because most of the time your alternator if you know if, if if your car dies out on you with a bad alternator, it dies out on you on the road. I mean, there's a rare chance that you know you were driving on with 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 just battery power, with just your battery with a bad alternator to the point where where you parked it, and then when you came back, you know you know it it wouldn't start. But the test for that is once you put the cables from another car, or you once you boost up the battery, if it was the alternator that was a problem, you would be able to turn on your car. It would turn on, but once you take the the, 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 the the cables off or the booster off, it dies out immediately because the alternator is not charging um, the, the the battery. But that's not the that's not the case here because he put cables on the battery and the car didn't turn on at all, so I could rule out the alternator altogether <coughs> as being the problem. So it's not any of those things. All right. So next up. Um, I I was thinking <clears throat> that it was a key fob. I was thinking maybe it was the key fob, the key fob battery. The car wasn't reading it, or whatever. But um, I changed the battery out. I changed the battery out like a um, couple months ago. All right, I, I had some issues with the key fob where, you know, I wasn't able to um, <clears throat> to uh, you know get the doors unlocked unless I, I was like really you know right next to the the door with the key fob. Didn't have any kind of starting issue though with that, but um, I did change out the battery, so I could rule that out. All right, I could rule that out. But if if the key fob was the problem, which which uh, <clears throat> I actually did, uh, I actually did a test for that anyway. I actually put it as close to uh, uh, you know the slide as possible and try to start it. It didn't work. Nothing. Nothing worked. <clears throat> didn't do anything. So I, I could rule out the key fob. All right. So what could be? What could it be? Um, I so I was looking at the uh, negative line, the negative cable from the battery. I was looking at that cable to see whether it was maybe frayed or broken, or or, or maybe it was like corroded. Maybe it wasn't, you know, screwed into the frame. <clears throat> um, it was good. That was that wasn't the problem. I could rule out the grounds, at least for that ground. I could rule out. I could rule out, rule out the crown. Okay. So moving on, moving on. <clears throat> Moving on to 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 my uh, my 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 other diagnosis, I was thinking to myself, all right, so it could be what else could it be? It could be a couple more things. It could be the fuses, or it could be the relays. All right, so I op- I, I checked out the fuses. I, I opened up the cover to the fuse fuses, and I was looking at the fuses. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't have a fuse tester. I can't test out <clears throat> any of these fuses. I can't test out. Any of these individual fuses, I can't test out. All right, I can't do it. All right, but I mean, I I, I, I shine a, you know, I, I use the flashlight on my phone just to see if there's any kind of burnt anything that was any fuses that, that was burnt. Nothing. All right, they look pretty clean. Now I didn't go and and and, and picked every one of them out and, and 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 looked at it, but they look clean and I didn't smell any kind of burnt burnt anywhere. I didn't I didn't I didn't smell any kind of burning smell anywhere. So. <clears throat> so um, now I couldn't rule out that it was one of the fuses. I can't rule that out because I didn't do 100% a hundred percent a test on it. A fuse to, I didn't have a fuse tested with me. But 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 the 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 few times that I've had issues with fuses, I will say I had two. There were two times where I had issues with fuses. One of those times. 
One of those times, um, I had a, a, a Honda, and normally in, in the Honda fuse box, there's a main fuse, all right, that connects the battery to the fuse itself. If that fuse burns out, you're going to get nothing in the car, like n no power to the car at all. It, it's 100% dead. There's no connection to the battery. It's 100% dead. Um, and uh, that's not the situation I'm having here because I have full power everywhere in the car, everything. Power windows, everything. <coughs> I have full power. All right? Unfortunately, um, it just won't crank. So I know it's not the main fuse. All right, this is me just going off the top of my head. It's not the main fuse. The second other time I had a problem, and I'm going to rule out the fuel pump because of, 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 of this. Uh, other time I had a fuse issue where it caused my car not to start. Uh, I, I think it was the fuse, the fuel pump, or, or the um, PCM of the car, the car's computer that, that, that was blown. Swapped out the fuse and uh, it worked. I mean, it just, it, it was cranking. <clears throat> it was cranking, but it wasn't getting any, any gas. So I, I wasn't able to turn it over, but it was cranking. All right. It was cranking. I just couldn't turn it over. But in this situation, that's not the situation because um, it's not, it's not, um, it's not cranking at all. So it's it's not cranking at all. So I at least at least I could rule out <clears throat> at this point um, the 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 fuel pump. All right, you could rule that out. I could I could rule that out. Also thinking about it, um, I have uh, one of these cheap nineteen ninety nine <clears throat> OBD two readers. I have one of these cheap OBD two. OBD2 readers that I got from Walmart. All right, I plugged it in. I plugged it in, <clears throat> and uh, it was giving me no codes whatsoever. Like, like, like it's all clean. The computer reads it fine. There's no issues. There's no check engine light. There's nothing. And it, you know, and uh, it, it did it. It did, it did the whole analyzation. Nothing. No problems at all. <coughs> at that time, um, I knew. That it wasn't the car's computer because there was uh, interaction between the OBD2 and the car's computer. All right. So, as you know, since that's the case, I could rule out maybe a, a blown fuse to the car's computer. Okay. So, I could rule that out. <coughs> man, I, I got to get a drink of water, man, uh, or something. I, I wish I had that orange soda with me. <clears throat> but um okay so basically uh the only thing that i can think of that's left uh may or may not be the starter uh i'm i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure on that because i did change the starter out about a year and a half ago <clears throat> and uh that why that was the reason why this wasn't it wasn't the first on my list as far as the diagnosis of this whole situation is concerned. It wasn't like I was saying, oh, it was a starter. Because I've only put in maybe like 20,000 miles on my car since. 20,000 miles. That starter that I, that, that I put in a year and a half ago should last me at least uh, well over 100,000 miles. Should. I said should. All right. But um, I, it was a re remanufactured, rebuilt uh a starter, so I, I can't be 100% sure that it is, that it isn't, <clears throat> but, but if you guys are in this situation with your cars and, and you guys <clears throat> have like a, a long crowbar, you guys could bang on it, I could actually bang on it if I had a long crowbar to bang on, bang on the starter and uh, try to start it that way, but I don't have a long crowbar with me. So I didn't even bother because it's actually raining quite a bit right now. It's actually raining quite a bit right now. So I didn't want to go out and, and do all that. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm sitting in my car and uh, I'm actually waiting for a triple A to pick my car up. 
so that I could take it back home and 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 check out everything 100% to make sure that I could rule out everything 100%. But at this point, um, everything that I've went through, if you guys are in this situation, 90% of the time, you could probably diagnose your no start issue from 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 uh from just everything that I actually went through. <coughs> <laughs> the um, yeah. So everything you know, it's got to be one of those things or the starter, which I'm not 100 percent sure of. But uh, I, I what I'm gonna do is once I get back and uh, once I get everything, you know, sort out everything as far as 100 percent, make sure that each and everything um is is good. Or not. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an update on it. Stay tuned. Alright guys. Um, Alright. Stay tuned guys. Alright guys. How's it going? So. Um, it took AAA two hours for them to get back. To uh, to, 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 to pick me up. Um, but. Uh, you know. I love AAA. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I pay like 120 And. Uh. They give me four rides, two of which is like a 200 mile tow service. I mean, service 200 miles tow, but uh, four service, uh, four service calls. But whatever. If you guys don't have AAA, you guys should definitely get it. Um, but back to uh, back to this whole entire uh, issue that I had uh, with my car. So I got it back. They, they towed it. I got it back home, and uh, I started doing some tests on it, uh, and. Uh, you know, I, I I did the battery test again. I, I boosted it with a power pack. Nothing. All right. So it was definitely not the battery. Uh, definitely not the alternator. Ruled that out. Uh, as far as the fuses, the relays, did all the tests on the fuses. Not a single one of them was blown. Uh, as far as the relay is concerned, um, uh, I heard a click. Like I told you before, I heard a click every single time. So that click actually came from the relay. So I knew for a fact that the relay wasn't a problem, but uh, just in case, I actually did swap out one relay for the starter relay just to see maybe um, it was with the relay. I, I probably should have done that, did that test on on on, on the relay, but <clears throat> but it was raining out, and uh, I was just tired. I, I didn't think of that, but I did that test, and uh, the relay starter uh, did nothing. It didn't, it didn't start at all. Check out the grounds. The grounds were all, the grounds were all good. Uh, the, the grounds were good. <clears throat> um, brake switch, uh, brake switch was good. So the only thing that was left, the only thing that was left, unfortunately, was the starter. Now I couldn't have been a hundred percent sure of it. I couldn't be hundred percent sure of it. But there's no way for me to test that out, you know, unless I took everything off. Now I did do did do I did do the uh, clip test on 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 the relay, and that should have just confirmed a hundred percent. But there's nothing else I could have thought of at the time. So what I did was, um, I mean, I was ninety nine percent sure it was a starter. I, I took everything out, uh, got to the starter, and what I did was. Uh, I actually hit it a couple of times and then tried to start it. Uh, it didn't do anything. So I actually took um, a cable, connected it with uh, some alligator clamps, connected it to the battery, and then connected it to the solenoid of the starter and tried to bump it, try to get it to work. <clears throat> it didn't work at all. So it turned out that it was a starter that was the problem. That's what it turned out to be, that the starter was the problem. So anyway, um, I went back, I took it to AutoZone, took it to AutoZone, had them, um, you know, uh, I told them about the situation and uh, I actually wanted a brand new starter. I told them that, you know, it took time, you know, I know it's a, I know it's a lifetime warranty, but you're giving me another re- refurbished starter, which could break down, which I don't want. Uh, they told me there's nothing they could do about it. That I could either get that, get another one, a ref- another refurbished one for free, or, or I could uh, 
spend three three fifty or whatever and, and get the brand new one, which I didn't want. I didn't want to shell three fifty for um, a brand new starter when I could actually get one for free, even though it's rebuilt. I'll take my chances with it. Um, anyway, uh, got it for free. Uh, popped it in, drove home, popped it in, <clears throat> and uh, started up. It started up. It started up each and every time it started up. So it was it was the rebuilt starter. Um, it was the it was the starter that was the problem. So <clears throat> um, let me tell you guys something about rebuilt stuff. Um, as far as rebuilt starters concerned, alternators, uh, anything that's rebuilt, what they do is they actually use every single component that 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 still worked. The one component that's broken, that's the one they changed up. So they don't actually do major changes on anything. All they do is just clean it up. However they clean it up to, to make it look like it's new, they only switch out that one part that's broken. So obviously if I had the choice, you know, I, I would have gone gone for the uh, the brand new one. But it, it was what it was. It was what it was. But if you guys are still with me, here's the thing about it. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys this. Um, every single step that I went through as far as step by step on 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 diagnosing and 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 going through you know which part which which thing would have caused your car not to start I think about 90% of the issues that you might have with your car from this video you guys should be able to just pick out what exactly is causing your car not to start all right um if you guys I'm sure you guys are probably in a similar situation if you're watching with this video. Um, you know, leave your comments in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. All right, guys. Um, thank you.